So, today we will be going over Euler's method. Euler's method is the linear approximation of a specific point by using a given interval. Um, this is used mainly by small intervals and like it says, the linear approximation, so it's essentially using a slope to find the next point and then using the slope at that point to find the next point. So, for example, most problems will be written a lot nicer than this, but you will be giving the slope, which is right here, um, dy over dx equals x plus y, which could be any two variables with any two numbers, but it might just be x plus 2 or something like that, something simple, or it could be complicated as like x squared over y. Um, and then you'll be giving the integral mostly, and it'll always be denoted as triangle or a delta um, x, which, as you can see, is 0.5. And then you will also be given one point, which f of 0 equals 1, and then a second point, which you have to find, which f of 2 equals what you're trying to find. Um, so what you do is the best way to spell it is to make a graph or a table like this. And you have x, which was given over here, by f of 0, which is here, equals 1, which is y. The m you will find by plugging the x and the y in. So it would be 0 plus 1, which with that you would get 1. So you know your slope is 1. And then you take your slope, which is 1, and then multiply it by change in x up here. And that is 0.5. And then once you have that, you do your y coordinate, which was back here, plus whatever this turns out to be, which is 0.5. So over here, you have 1 plus 0.5. And then that will give you your y coordinate for 0.5. So usually the second x is the x plus 0.5 because the change is the change in x is 0.5. So you, if it's positive or negative, it's on positive. So you add 0.5, and it goes the opposite if it is negative. And then you do the same thing over again. So you know your x is 0.5. And your y was found over here, making it 1.5. And your m, you find by plugging it into the equation there, which is 0.5 plus 1.5, which is 2. And then you take the slope, time to change in x again. The change in x is the same, which is still 0.5. And then 2 times 0.5 is 1. So then it'd be 1, which is your original. It'd be 1.5, which is your y from here. You got to make sure you use this y instead of this y, otherwise you just keep getting the same answer. So this is 1.5. So it would be 1.5 that y plus the change in m, or the slope, which is 1. So then this will give you your final answer at 1, which this will be um, 2.5. And you can essentially repeat this an infinite amount of times, which is not very, um, not very logical to do that, so that's why it usually only goes a few steps. And even finding 2 um, from here is quite a while, so we're just going to leave it at 1. But you can essentially do this up to like five or six, but 
And if you don't find this, the table will get bigger. Okay, so today we're going to learn about flip fields. Uh, in this chapter, you'll learn about flip fields. Where they are graphical representations of dif differential equations. Um, basically, they're just slopes on particular points of an XY graph, and they are useful because they provide insight to how a graph will look over the entire interval. To find a slope field, you must start by finding the derivative of the equation given. Most of the time, the derivative is already given to you in the problem. After you have the derivative, you simply analyze the graph and plot the slopes on the points provided. They're particularly sim simple, so let's go through that. I'll show you that. So here we're just going to do a slope field of two points on graph. You see it's at 0, 0, and at 0, 1. Our equation is uh, top left here at y prime equals x minus y. So what I do is uh, on the uh, graph, you just plot the points. So we have 0, 0. So it would be 0 minus 0. So our slope there is 0. So on our point, we just draw a slope of 0, which is Across, and then we have a point at 0, 1. So, oops, 0 minus 1 equals the slope of negative 1. And then you just kind of draw a slope of negative 1 in your graph. And you can do that throughout the entire graph um, for the points like that, and that's basically the slope for you. 